Now, with that being said, have you found a way to stay unique from other singers and songwriters? Oh, gosh. I don't know. I don't know if that's really a question that I, I get to answer. Fair enough. Because it's like, oh, I yeah, I am that. unique. Me, I'm cool, or like whatever. It's no, like. it's just because like we find in photography as well. Yeah. More so, the question is just like because like for we had an, um, a photographer mm-hmm. named Tiro who um, is in Miami, and obviously Miami is huge on swim yeah. and like yeah. bikinis and like almost ninety five percent of the photographers that shoot swim. So it's more so like how do you keep yourself different from the others? Mm-hmm. More so, not necessarily are you unique. Everyone's unique, yeah. yes, but yeah, more yeah. so like what do you put into your music? Whether it's your emotion or your mentality or you know, your experiences, like what makes it different from others? Okay. Is I'm going to say, question? yeah, that's, a that's great. I, yeah, I feel like this will happen like a couple times today. So I'm going to say <laughs> Go something else it. first and then it'll like blend back into it. Cause it's, I remember hearing this from, um, uh, spoken word slash like rap artist named propaganda mm-hmm. yeah. and just about <clears> how, like he's talking about, um, a lot of different stuff. Um, but it's all like one giant conversation. It's not like, oh, like this is, you know, this is a computer and a computer is like separate from language. Like a computer is made with language and then we use like, like we type in things, which is a language and then like it's used to communicate to others, which is communication. Mm -hmm. It's used for finances and this thing and that thing and this thing and that thing. And so in the same way, I feel like, you know, um, the globalization of music everyone is like shaped by other people's experiences by the internet by listening to like so for me for example like growing up listening like to christian music because that's like the space that i one of the spaces i grew up in and then listening to like a bunch of latino music because that's like one that like regaton y cumbia y todo eso and then like moving into like like james taylor and cool in the gang and like the bg like yeah like like all like all this kind of stuff that my dad also loved to listen to and Eric Clapton and that kind of stuff. My mom liked some country music mm. and like folk oriented stuff. And mm-hmm. my brother was like, yeah, just so like all these things, it's not. Yeah. So then how that first thing, the second thing, what we were just talking about now to what we, the question you actually asked, um, it's all like the same. Everything is just like, kind of just all my experiences just like smushed all together mm-hmm. so like in terms of my writing I don't know if it's super original I just try and write from like something that feels true and honest to me um, like I think from growing up in a Christian space and stuff like that I was like all right like um, morality is important mm-hmm. you have know, some like in some respect and obviously that's different for whatever flavor of Christianity that you like might find yourself or for me now, like a lot of stuff with Buddhism, like different like sects of Buddhism and stuff like that. Um, it's like morality and care and compassion and things like that. So that's usually stuff I'll try and write about or like focus on. Obviously love, everybody talks about love. Um, the potential for there to be like goodness in the world and stuff. So like in terms of writing themes and stuff like that, in terms of language, like I grew up doing like a lot of like outdoor stuff with my family, mm-hmm. like like river like trips and stuff like that. We didn't go on vacation, we would like go like, all right, we're going to go out and like on a river for a week. And we'd be like, we're going to raft from point A to point B. And it's like 7,000 miles or whatever. Um, that would be ridiculous, but I'd be covering some serious ground in a week. Um, <laughs> for real. So like stuff like that. And then I grew up working in agriculture. And so like drawing things from that with like a number of songs or, and then, so then taking those things, like this pair of glasses that I have on and the way that I see the world is like, okay, cool. Like I have a song called soil. So how do I talk about something that's relevant right now and that's important through the lens of like the things that I saw growing up and working in agriculture? It's like, okay, trees are different from one another. People are different from one another. Mm. It's like, what would it sound like if like trees said some of the like stupid things that people say to one another or the shameful or like hurtful or harmful things that people say to one another? So like that. Okay, cool. Well, you know, I did a lot of like gardening and like a lot of um, like agriculture, like working on farms and stuff. So I wrote like a personal story, like from that with this thing, with like some coyotes that we had a problem with. Mm. And so a story there and about how change can happen. And then like, I wrote a song called flowers about like love. And it's like, okay, well worked with soil, different things grow in different soil. 
maybe if you have like a pot of soil, it's not going to be as good as like a full garden and there's like bugs and there's this thing and that thing, you know, and all this kind of stuff that goes into it. And it's like, maybe for somebody, this person I was in a relationship with, maybe it's like just like a cup of water. It's not going to be enough. It's like going to get all nasty and then we're both going to dry up, you know? And so it's just like whatever pair of glasses that we're wearing, I think is the thing that we try and write from. So I don't know if I'm like original in that sense, but like, just it's definitely to, an original answer. Yeah, yeah. for sure. I've never I know, heard anything I know like, like that 